All right, The View co-host, Lindsey Granger today came under fire from her fellow hosts for essentially being Republican. I do say that I have many conservative values that I will talk to you about. And so if you look at your network you that you're Republican? standing behind, yes, and when you look at your network that you're standing behind, you're saying that you look at Chris Cuomo. I feel like that's an oxymoron, a black Republican. You feel oh, like it's an oxymoron. I do. Why? Your friend right here is a Republican. We had She's this the, conversation tell, tell me You do. You say you feel like it's an oxymoron that you're Catholic, but you also are pro-life. I, I don't understand either. No, you, you don't understand yourself then. Uh, John <laughs> Burnett, you're an oxymoron. <laughs> it's better than being a moron. Just right? a flat out moron. Uh, that was good, John. Good well one. done. You know, the, the thing is, you know what? Whether it's from black, white, or whatever, whatever color, the left loves to vilify minorities who are Republicans. Yeah. They see they see them as the biggest threat. Why? Because they heavily rely on on, on people of color to come out and vote for their nonsense. But there's a lot of people waking up, both black, Hispanic, and Asian. Why? Because they want, you know, a better business climate. They want more options in education. They want, you know, to be able to, to, to be safe in their communities. And the left's policies yeah. is not only putting their life in jeopardy, but their lifestyle and family. Mm. So there's a lot of people waking up, and that's a big threat to the left. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's a really interesting point. Uh, Judd, on that, you know, I, I think we often see on The View uh, any of their Republican hosts tend to get completely lambasted. Yeah, they get insulted. Where, right, where there's not yeah. even an open discussion. It's immediately dismissive. And that, to me, is so much of what we're seeing, whether it's uh, between former friends, whether it's on air, wherever it is. I mean, is, is seeing something like this on air, say with view co-hosts, even making our society think, you know what, it's okay to be dismissive if someone's Republican, much less a black Republican. Well, as a white heterosexual Christian <laughs> male in America today, right, which is in LA is the problem. Hmm. You know, it's interesting what's going on with the polarization of race, because I think what Biden's actually done is his administration right now, the more that they demonize uh, Republicans with race or polarity or vaxism, racism, and Trumpism, the more hey, we're actually hey, driven uh, back to Judd, being proud. I hate to do this. We're running out of time. It's our fault, not yours. It's me. It's not you. Uh, <laughs> well, the ending line, they end up being proud Republicans. So the more they come after us, the more we just become Republicans. All right. Well Judd, Judd Dunning, John Burnett, thank you. We'll be back after this. Uh, Jane King has a preview of this weekend show.